Hi guys, so today we're talking about the most dreadful subject. What happens if you drop your shears? That's not a good feeling. Everyone hates that, but it happens a lot. So what happens if you drop your shears? Based on how they land, obviously they could you know, end up with the nick in the blade. So when we drop our shears, our first reaction is to make sure we pick it up and make sure they're okay so we open and close right away. So what happens is if you do that and there is a nick in the blade, you're now creating a nick on both sides because there might be a little burr once you drop them. And if there's a nick that was caused by the drop, now you have actually made the problem worse by opening and closing right away because you're now hitting the nick you know, from one side to another, therefore creating nick on both sides of the blade. So in this case, you really sometimes just have to send them in for resharpening. Now, most of the time, if they land, if it's a small nick, here's what you need to do. Let's say if you drop your shears, they land, you don't know whether there's a nick or not. So just pick them up, do not open, I mean, do not close the shears yet. So what you wanna do is you're gonna take a paper towel, leave your shears alone, do not close them yet. Fold it a couple times, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna push the blades apart. So you're gonna pull here and push it with your thumb, and at the same time, you're gonna put the paper towel in between and kinda close that slowly. So what you're trying to do here is you're trying to make, if there is a burr in the blade, you're trying to make it work itself out and pushing it backwards. After you do that a couple of times, then take a soft cotton cloth and wipe the blades clean. Now go very slowly and see if you can feel the, the nick in the blade. If there's no nick, congratulations, you have saved your shears. But if there's still a nick and it's folding here, then it may be the right time now to actually send them in for sharpening. So if you have any questions or you, you know, need to send anything for sharpening, make sure to go to kinchygrooming.com. Just go under our sharpening section and you're able to download the form right there. Send them in. Uh, if you have any further questions, please feel free to give us a call. Also check out our Instagram and Facebook page, as well as our YouTube channel. Thank you.